In this instruction video, we will give an example on how to build a conceptual model. Let's consider the spillover model. The spillover model proposes that interparental conflict leads to the child developing more internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. The first thing we could do is identify the variables in this sentence. Variable is any entity that can take on different values. First variable is interparental conflict, since parents can take on different levels of interparental conflict. Some parents might never get into conflict with their partner, whereas other parents might very often get into conflict with their partner. Second and third variable are internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. So far, we have identified three variables. Recall from the previous video that in a conceptual model, variables are put in a box. In a conceptual model, arrows represent a causal effect and point from the cause to the effect. In this example, interparental conflict has an effect on internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. We can reorganize the boxes and add two arrows pointing from interparental conflict, the cause, to internalizing and externalizing behavior problems, the effects. We could also add signs to the effects in the conceptual model. A sign can either be positive or negative. In this example, interparental conflict leads to more internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. In other words, high levels of interparental conflict lead to high levels of internalizing and externalizing behavior problems, indicating positive relationships. But how could it be that interparental conflict leads to more internalizing and externalizing behavior problems? The spillover model explains this effect by introducing a fourth key concept, negative parenting behavior, and proposes that parents who get into interparental conflict are more likely to display negative parenting behavior, which in turn leads to the child developing more internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. Again, we could begin with identifying the variables. We already identified the first three variables, namely interparental conflict and internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. The fourth variable is negative parenting behavior. The conceptual model already consisted of three boxes and now we can put the additional variable in a box. Just like before, we can draw arrows that represent causal effects. In this example, interparental conflict has an effect on negative parenting behavior. We can add an arrow pointing from interparental conflict to negative parenting behavior. In turn, negative parenting behavior has an effect on internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. We add two arrows pointing from negative parenting behavior to internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. We could again add signs to the effects in the conceptual model. Parents who get into interparental conflict are more likely to display negative parenting behavior. In other words, high levels of interparental conflict lead to high levels of negative parenting behavior. This is a positive relationship. In addition, negative parenting behavior leads to the child developing more internalizing and externalizing behavior problems. This is also a positive relationship. All the effects in the model are positive, so we can add plus signs to each arrow. We end up with a conceptual model which provides an overview of all relationships proposed by the spillover model.